Man, I've been waiting to do this for quite a while. So let's get out there. Okay, I think I look fine. It's looking like you, kid. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you guys already beat me to it. I was going to meet you in my office and get started, but since you're here, welcome to RyoVision Entertainment. Well, pretty much I'll be talking about everything you could possibly think of with the keyword being entertainment, m meaning movies, music, TV shows, uh, even the amusement parks. Because it, it, if you define that word entertainment, the thrills and stuff like that is what we define here. So, hey, do you guys want to see me sing, dance, something? <laughs> so if you guys can actually leave comments out there to also let me know what sort of subjects you'd like to talk me want me to talk about in the subject of entertainment, let me know. In other words, let's get started. Let's head with me, head over to me in my office. So follow me if you want to lead. Come on. Hey everyone. You kind of got, got me out of predicament there, getting ready for the show, but that's all right. Anything can happen here on RyoVision Entertainment. So with that being said, let's get for, started to our first subject. So if you go down to Southern California, what's the first thing you think of or a place that you might want to go to? Malibu? <laughs> Beverly Hills? Oh, that would be a good topic to, to talk about in the future. Because if you know that's 90210, which is the zip code, Beverly Hills. And it, it, they're actually reviving the show as it is. And it's supposed to be, be out. They're, they're already working on the show as it is already. It's supposed to be out sometime in August, believe it or not. And, but that's not the place I'm thinking of. No. <laughs> the place I'm thinking of is the happiest place on Earth, which is Disneyland. And the cool thing, if it, it's, I can't believe it's already been a month. But believe it or not, Star Wars Galaxy Edge has actually been open for a month as it is already. And because I wanted to talk about the subject too, because... This last Monday, it finally opened it up to the public. Now you don't have to reserve spots or anything like that to actually go in, but I, I think they're trying to keep a good flow still going in, but you still have to reserve spots at certain stores, especially if you want to build lifesavers or stuff like that. Lifesavers cost 200 bucks, it's a lot of money, but they're pretty authentic, I gotta say. But what I, uh, so I've, I've not been to Star Wars Land as it is yet. And when I do, I will bring that uh, camera with me and do my own video uh, stuff. I can't wait to ride that mammalian that, that uh, falcon ride too because I noticed there's a single rider which will help for my benefit. And th th this is big because now we finally get the chance to uh, see what that Star Wars line looks like. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> now, I wanted to bring that uh, up because I actually decided that it's now open to the public. It gives you guys out there who's watching this a chance to actually go, <gasps> it's open. It's finally open to the public. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while. But the only thing with that, the only benefit, if you got a season pass, it's, you can't go into Disneyland as a, as a still. You can, maybe it might be able to count, go to California Adventure. So you still have to wait a while. I think it's, they block it off to uh, June, July, and the half of August. So I have to wait until the other half of August to actually check it out. So if you're a season pass holder, what, how do you feel about that? This, if you do, leave some comments down below. Let me know if you are a season pass holder, what you actually think about that. I think that's a little, I, I don't like that. You can go get a California adventure, but you can't go to Disneyland right now for a season pass holder. So with that being said, let me move on to my next subject. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about Robert Pattinson. If you guys are familiar with him, uh, he's been in those Twilight movies. Yes, with Kristen uh, Stewart. And believe it or not, he was actually in those Harry Potter movies too. Well, very few anyways. He was like in two. Uh, if you guys are familiar with him, he played Cedric. Uh, he played a, a little bit of a role in the third one, but he was more focused in the fourth. Uh, for uh, those who haven't seen it, which Harry Potter's been out for a long time. You kind of shouldn't know what's going on with that. But the reason I want to mention Robert, because now he, he's, more, he's more in the spotlight as it is. He's back in the spotlight. Because a couple of weeks, this is kind of like old news as it is, because uh, we got the news that he's going to be playing the new Batman. It's gonna be, Christopher Nolan's not b behind this one, so uh, the director behind this will give a different direction as it is. Because I thought when uh, Ben Affleck came in board with the new uh, Batman, with the, I think it was when, like two, I think, I believe. He had uh, a movie, then he was in the uh, Justice, Justice League movie. <laughs> and I... He was all right. I still think my favorite one's been uh, the first one uh, in the movie when, when they started off with these movies with Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton's been my favorite. Now, I actually say Christian Bill was actually a good Batman. This is Will. And to see uh, Robert actually be in the role of Batman will give a fresh new look 
it looked like a younger look, don't you think? And I, I wanted to also mention Robert for a particular reason too, because uh, if you are familiar with the James Bond series, 007, shaken but not stirred, <laughs> um, one of his uh, past directors in uh, these uh, movies of 007 actually thought who might make a good feature uh, James Bond after Daniel Craig is done with it, because Daniel Craig has actually been in five now, believe it or not, which it's a tie, it's t a tied to record with uh, Sean Connery and a few others in there too. I think Sean Carter is the best in there. <laughs> but Daniel Craig is doing a great job as it is. But as one of these past directors with the movies, I thought Robert Patterson might be good for these movies too. And I was, when I was I heard that and read this, I was scratching my chin going, uh, that's an interesting choice. I, I know, but especially when he's going to be busy with doing Batman. I, I, I know uh, this new James Bond movie has not came out yet. Uh, which is Bond 25. We still have not gotten a title with this, which means this will be a subject I'll be talking probably a couple times in the future. Just Because once we get that topic, it's going to be uh, pretty cool. And uh, <laughs> I, I know the industry is so top secret these days. You don't know what they're going to do. So let me continue on because I, I don't want to spoil it anymore because I know I will be talking more about this in the future. So my next one will actually be about The Lion King. That's right. <laughs> this Monday, this as well, tickets went on sale. That's pretty sad. I, I, I've, of all the com all these animated movies Disney has done, I believe The Lion King has been my one of my favorite ones up there. Well, I'll actually, believe it or not, if, if you want to know my favorite one, my favorite movie for Disney animation is actually The, the Little Mermaid. So before I leave here, I want to give you guys a special treat. If you guys have not seen it already, it's been uh, on the TV as it is already, so... I'm going to start wrapping this up and say my name is Ryan Crutch. Thank you for watching and enjoyed the small little video segment I'm about to show you, which is related to The Lion King. So thank you for watching. I hope this future of the Ryan Vision Entertainment will be bright for you. This as well as you can see bright into the future. This as well. Okay. So I'll see you guys later. Enjoy this video clip. Simba, look at the stars. Can you feel the love? Tonight. The great kings of the past look down on us from those stars. The peace the evening breeze. Those kings will always be up there to guide you. The world for once in perfect harmony with all its living things. And so will I. Disney's The Lion King.